So I'm going to show you how to center a large chunk of clay. I'm starting with 15 pounds of clay and I haven't really wedged it. I've cut it off the block and I've rolled it and padded it so that it's a little more round. What I want is to make sure that this part is domed. If it's flat, when you slam it down, it can catch air underneath. So now it's domed. I'm going to hit it in the middle. I'm going to hit it twice. Get it stuck. And I don't want to hit it too much because the more you hit clay with your hands, the more damage you're going to do. So I want to just get it in the middle, get it stuck, and get it wet. So centering this much clay has to do a lot with leverage. So instead of having my elbow on my leg like I normally would, I'm going to move it more towards my hip so that when I lean forward, I'm applying pressure. So I'm not using any arm muscle right now. Just leaning forward is going to do the work. So I'm going to get it wet. I'm going to line up the center of the clay, the middle of my wrist and my elbow. And I'm going to lean forward. As I lean forward, the clay has no place to go but up. Keeping my hand towards the bottom still so that the cone goes up. As the cone starts to move up, I'm going to move up slowly with it. What I don't want to do is move up too quickly and cause a big spiral. Then I'm going to come down. Again, having the elbow close to my hip allows me to put a lot of pressure on it without doing a lot of work. Also, breathing is important. A lot of people with a larger chunk of clay have a tendency to stop breathing. So you can see it's pretty much in the middle now after one cone up and cone down. I'm going to do it again though to line up the clay particles so that rather than them being all different directions, I'm going to cone up and down again and as I spin it, as it goes through a spiral rotation, it'll kind of flatten them out. It'll make it a little bit more responsive. 